Got original 1956 Lincoln Continental. These two uh, done a 57 here not long ago, and the 56 is next, and uh, they're both going to the same place. And uh, redone all the chrome on it, the background on it, and we done a full roar design conversion on it, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's got AM FM stereo, operating LED over here, changes multiple colors. Stereo LED over here. Uh, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It has a pre-out on it if you want to add a sub. Auxiliary in, which is automatic. Be demonstrating that. Uh, USB port. This is your port you'll be getting with a thumb drive. This will play all your favorite music. You'll get one of these with this video on it and music. And uh, this will also charge your phone, your devices. We make these tapes for the owners of it after they get the car. They can uh, pull the video off the thumb drive, put it on the computer, and they can always go back and see how I worked it because it will do multiple things. It's got Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, um, voice assistance, voice ID, uh, toner switch. It's fully loaded. Built-in balance, I mean built-in fader. We got to keep it. And uh that's why I decided to leave my office job and become a right now you're on FM by enrolling in Marion University. Of course town and country we put the new uh roller design FM oh, MC1 in it with the motor so we can keep it working. Roll which of the and your favorite which is pretty cool that way you can seek and scan stations this thing will also seek and scan stations by itself if you want it to and it has voice ID so if you want to know where you're at on FM since you don't have an FM dial we won't keep the original look I'll demonstrate that you won't go to AM radio, you just simply turn the unit off and right back on, little light turns red. Now you're on AM radio. 650 here in Nashville. Off and right back on, takes you right back to FM, stereo. This reminder, join us for morning edition tomorrow, beginning at 4 Central, 5 Eastern. Now these things got three bubs in them. And be sure to follow us on Twitter and find us on One of them's, uh, I think this one, is, this one I've got wired to come on when you put, turn the radio on. The other ones will be wired to the dash, so when you turn the dash lights on, they will come on here because if you ever have to pull this out and change bubs in it, it's a total job. It's a, it's a full-time job. It's about four hours to get the bubs out of one of them. We get one of our listeners on the phone. So we've done it that way, and uh, hopefully that's the way it should be. Style Bruce is imitating. Everything's Cynthia cleaned up, Sibitsky polished up. That's AM FM that's stereo. Your auxiliary in, in, you'll get a cable that comes with your uh, oh, great kit. You. you can plug Cynthia anything Cynthia. into it, satellite radio, uh, MP3s, iPods, your phone, uh, CD players, XM radio, satellite radio, whatever you want to. And you just plug it in and turn your device on, it'll automatically change over for you. Bring it up, just hit play. We're doing a song for you right now. Now your little light's got on the green, so it means you're on auxiliary end. Anytime you want to come off auxiliary end, just turn your device off. And then 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where we had it set. Uh, if you want to shorten that 20 seconds, just turn it off and right back on it. Remember where you're at during that 20 seconds, like you were cycling from AM to FM. It will stay on AM or FM, wherever you had it at. Uh, we're going to let it do its thing, make sure everything's right. Getting the wires in this thing. Ooh, it's a, all these wires that run up through here to control all this stuff and through them holes. That's a job. Anyhow, she turned out nice. Plays good.
Every time you switch your switch, you got town and country. There's a little switch in here that's set by the screw. That switches for, for local and long distance. It's also set up to work your Bluetooth and your thumb drive. Answer your calls uh, with this one, end your calls with that one. Uh, advance your music with the town, and uh, back up on your music on the country, on the thumb drive and your phone. That's how your auxiliary end works. This is your toner switch. All you do is turn it clock, counterclockwise all the way over. Now you're on toner. Your volume knob becomes your toner switch. Get it set where you want it. Just flip it back. Take your volume down and back up and regain your volume. You have a built-in fader. Front, rears. Rears, front. So you balance it out where you want it. You also have, if you have a speaker separated, you also have balance in your toner switch. And all you do is once you get your treble and all set up, just flip this back over counterclockwise. Now this is your treble and balance. Wide open treble, take it back a notch, let's go counterclockwise twice. She'll come on her and say in the balance mode. Balance adjust. Right, left. Let's balance it out. Let it beep. Now we're back on toner. Set your toner where you want it. Turn your turn your toner all the way back, counterclockwise. And now you've got it. So now you can hear all four speakers. Once you, once you mess with it, while it's easy to do, once you get your speaker set up, all you gotta worry about is fading in and out from rear to front. Everything else pretty well set. That's how you do it on a vintage radio, so you've got four channels and you can work four channels with it. Uh, we're going to run our Bluetooth in. This is interesting. Let's go to Bluetooth on our phone. There we are, we're on Bluetooth. There's two ways of doing the Bluetooth. You can use this button, which is a whole lot easier, and we're going to do the initial pair up. Once you pair up your phone, it will take up to multiple devices. I always pick, it'll always pick number one if it's in the car. Once you pair it up, every time you turn this radio on and have your phone with you, she'll come on and say, Bluetooth device connected. But first, we're going to do the initial pair up. We're going to hold this button down. Showed up on her phone. All we do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. completed. Bluetooth connected. Now we're connected up. I forgot to put us a mic in. I, I'm usually putting a mic in the radio, but that, this radio is so tight with push buttons, you can't hardly get a mic in. So we're going to plug a mic in. This mic comes with the package. Run it wherever you want to. I ran from you. Plenty of lead on it. Let's do a voice command. Let's hold the push button down and let's bring our phone up. Play music. So now you got full access to Bluetooth, answer phone calls, playing music. You don't even have to have this in your hand and that's what it's designed for. Let's go to my music. I'll show you how to operate it. Everybody likes the funky wild man. If you want to advance your songs, all you do is push this button once. It'll advance your songs for you. Twice, we'll back up and repeat. One, two, repeat it, back up. I 
also a way that you can work it. Town and country, just push it, advance your songs. Or back up, or repeat with the town and country. Answer your phone calls here. You can end them here, just let the phone hang up if a phone call comes in. Same thing with a button. If you want to go back to regular radio, you can hold this button down and bring your phone up and say, uh, stop music. Or you can take the volume knob and do it. Stop music. So everything your push button can do can be done right here. That's what I like about it. You can also change your songs and stuff by using the tuner. That's how your Bluetooth and all works. Now, we're on FM. We have an AM dial. We want to know where we're at. Just take this knob and go three times. One, two, three. Eight, nine, dot, nine. Eight, nine, dot, nine. It tells you where it's yet. I brought the Bluetooth up because I can do that here. We'll let it Sorry, in. I couldn't find that speaker. <laughs> we'll let it in. We'll go back. We're back on it. One. Nine one dot one. Nine one dot one. That's pretty neat. Your USB. You get a thumb drive with a video on it, some music. As soon as you plug it in, it's gonna go straight to it. Advance your music gear with your town. Back up or repeat. Or I can do it also with a tuning knob. I do it with a button. Advance. Back up. Button works the same as here. Also, your volume knob. Go down twice to summon your thumb drive up. A lot of people like to hide these. You don't have to take them out. You can leave it in there. You can hold this down one second. Put it in pause, go back to radio, or you can use the volume knob. Go down on it twice. One, two. Put it in pause, going right back to radio. This little light's going to blink, blink a couple times, and I'm going right back to FM where we had it set. Back on FM. Down twice on this, we'll bring the thumb drive back up, or hold this down one second. Right back to it. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes the same song or not, because, you know, it's computer age. Advance your music, back up and repeat, or... I can do it right there. And, of course, we've got the push buttons and all working like they're supposed to. Let's put this in pause, go back to radio. I'm going to hold it down one second. Let's go to pause. We've got all your presets and everything working, where you can pull them out and preset your favorite stations. There's by theirs. By Infertilis. Evil person named... You see this, even though she grieved, and I mean, she grieved loud in church. Give us a story so people... Favorites when you join the fish. This radio just has multiple ways of working it. I think it's cool when it's when it's uh, actually advancing that knob turns. That's pretty neat. What did I do right? Anyhow, that's your original 1956 Lincoln Continental. New chrome, full conversion, ready to go. I appreciate you letting me show it to you. Thank you.